Good evening, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in again. Brian here, and welcome back to AI the Somnium Files Nirvana. Now, I gotta fix this real quick, otherwise, I'm gonna be focusing on it again. Okay, so I was screwing around stuff like that off camera because I have to wait for the viewers to render stuff like that. Apparently, when one of these AI things become an adult, you can go ahead and like turn them into a bunch of different you turn them into a bit different characters from the game. And the one that I have right now is Hitomi IE. And apparently you can go ahead and you can if by raising a certain stat, you can raise them into whatever whatever, whatever they're gonna be when they grow up. Uh, if that even makes sense. But yeah, they just start as a kid. But these are like all the different routes you can take with the babies. This is what I got, obviously. I think this was like, this is Iris. And then after a certain stat hits a certain point, you go ahead and you you can evolve it into Tomi or Organ. Oh, I thought that said Orgasm for a second. I'm like, what the heck? No, but this is what they turn to when they become an adult. So I have like another one that I can do with the same thing that I did before. And then obviously I have like all these other different choices like that. But they all care correspond to a different character in the game. And I think they may even have ones that are currently new as well. Also, oh, I, hold on a second, I gotta reset her real quick. How many legs do you like? That's a weird question to ask, but I'll go with two. It's normally... So, I guess, like, the way it works is that you, like, I think, like, one question responds to a corresponding loop. So I'm just gonna do, like, all my answers are gonna be the bottom one for this episode. And so on and so forth until we become an adult again. But, that's also something else that I found that was kind of cool. You can actually, like, change Iba's and Tama's outfits. I mean, I didn't get a lot, but they also ask like, this interesting question when you come in, too, and it just, I don't know, I just find it amusing. The game's got so much to it. It's kind of, it's kind of amazing, actually. It's got so much more than the other game did. Mr. Date really is a great investigator, don't you think? Yeah, his skill as an investigator is quite impressive. Just like his package. Obviously, that's what Tama would go ahead and say, but I'm sure Iba would say something different. But, anyways, picking up where we left off, we're still at the Yakuza Den. We went and we talked to Moma and Chibe? Chinpei. Chinpei's getting married. Chinpei has a daughter on the way. Can you believe that? Moma's just Moma. Blah blah blah. No one cares. Mmm, I forgot where we were going with this. I think we were, like, investigating the half-body things. I believe. Oh, I remember! We're still in the, um... In the, in the investigation room with Mizuki. We're recalling the accounts of what happened six years ago. Through Ryuki's eyes. Wait a minute. I was looking at the rooftop thing they were talking about. I'm here to say Komiji. Komeji. Shoma, my little boy, he's in elementary school. One day I wake up, go to the bathroom mirror, and I have writing on my forehead. It must have been Shoma. He had been learning letters in school recently. Hey, anyway, tub. he writes, Death Tub. And I'm thinking, Death Tub? Is that what he meant? Is he trying to tell me something? Then Shoma saw my face and started busting out laughing. And I was thinking, What's so funny? It's probably because it was backwards. When you see Death Tub in the mirror, out of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! <laughs> Another story about Shoma. One day, I got a call from school, and a rather heavy-set vice principal told me, Your Shoma called me a pig of all things! I apologized, then gave Shoma a talking to. 
Listen here, Shoma. Don't you ever call the vice principal that again. He said, okay, I won't call the vice principal a pig anymore. So you probably but call him fat, okay right? If I call a pig vice principal, right? I say, sure, why not? So then as the kid is leaving, he says, I'm sorry. Can I go play with my friends now, Vice Principal? Ouch! Out of energy, Inti, Inti, Pachaka Max! This guy became the host of the six um, hour live stream? Are you finished? Well, you're the only one here. You're Mr. Ryuki from the Metropolitan Police Department, right? You came here to talk about what happened? Yes. Then let's go somewhere else to talk. You prefer someplace quiet, right? That'd be nice, I suppose. Are we on the merry-go-round? Ferris wheel, whatever. Wait, the Ferris wheel? Well, why not? Alone with a middle-aged man in an enclosed space? This is not what I had in mind. Listen, Thomas, shut up! You don't, can't always get what you want. <laughs> Look, the ants are like people. It's the other way around. <laughs> Wait, the other way around doesn't sound right either. <laughs> this is a giraffe. I want to get out of here. Please let me out of here. Why did you have to choose this place of all places, Komeji? Why did you host know I'm a comedian now, but when I was in my early 20s, I was working as a regular company employee. You don't even know you're not funny. quiz shows on the side and... Ended up winning first place many times. Komeji was famous as a quiz king ever since he was a student. He even had worshippers who lauded him as the quiz god. Thinking back, that may have been the peak of my life. Adored wherever I went, everyone buying me all sorts of things. Maybe I shouldn't have taken advantage of the situation like I did. I was so enamored by the glamorous celebrity life I've always loved comedy, so I strived to become a comedian. And after that, well, it's just as you saw on that stage. I wonder why there wasn't an audience. It was so funny. Womp, womp, womp. Ah, I haven't told you yet, have I? The producer for that show knew about me from my Quiz King days. He thought I could tell all sorts of anecdotes and gave me an offer to host the show. Ah, right. Sorry for calling you Team Popo back then. It was in the script. Didn't really have a choice. By the way, Iris and Mizuki were called Team Lemniski, and Momo and Chinpei were called Team Yakuza. Okay. Well, I have Ferris wheels. I love Ferris wheels. I like anything that continuously spins around, actually. Plane propellers, washing machines, the beds at love hotels. Okay, that's creepy. There used to be rotating beds at love hotels a long time ago. And you know that. How do you know that? <laughs> it's like life, isn't it? With its ups and downs. You rotate around the same places over and over. Well, the beds at love hotels don't go up and down, though. Although, I guess they do, in a way. Wow. A boy Tama, is just you're... like me, you know? Tama, Tama, Shuma? Tama. You mentioned him on stage earlier. She's gonna be a fun yes, one. he really loves this Ferris wheel, too. He's almost in middle school, and he still comes here by himself all the time. He talks like he's all grown up, but he's still a kid inside. With your love of Ferris wheels, I'd say you're still a kid on the inside, too. <laughs> you got a point there. You're probably right. Mm -hmm. He's right in the middle of his rebellious stage, so he's been yeah. a handful. His mother hasn't been around for about three years now. Was, Was it a divorce? Work? Yeah. She got sick of me and 
left the house. Uh, I can't imagine why. Does this have to do with the Yakuza by any chance? <laughs> what? Where in the world did that come from? Just something I heard. That you have gang connections. That's complete nonsense. I'm just an ordinary comedian. Your thermograph well, says other words. True, other way. Just admit it. Your thermograph says otherwise. Oh, I thought maybe it would like uh, let me light up the ride. Your clothes. Oh, this? It's my one and only stage outfit. This sharp little bow tie is the highlight. My boy bought it for me last year. Bow ties are somewhat unusual. Traditional ties are more common. But you weren't wearing that tie last night, were you? Oh, uh, I wasn't. I tend to take it off or put it on based on how I'm feeling. Officially murderous. Do you come to the stage a lot? Yeah, the owner of the Misaton department store took a liking to me. He's given me the opportunity to appear several times now. For no audience. God, that gets so demoralizing. I'm sorry. I have no idea what happened. I was just invited there and hosted the show as requested. Then that body suddenly appeared. Did you know Jin, the victim? Who didn't? I've never met him. I do know he was hated for his extreme narcissism and ego. If I had to guess, the motive was probably a grudge. Someone must have had a grudge against him and did that. But how? Sounds like alcohol. Ah, does it? A little. A lot is more like it. Komeiji's blood alcohol level is 0.12%. The early stages of inebriation. Don't go driving then, buddy. I just couldn't get over what happened last night and ended up drinking too much. I wanted to forget about everything. I had to drink. Hmm. Sorry I couldn't help, Mr. Ryuki. I wish you luck with the investigation. I'm rooting for you. Thank you, Mr. Now, Komeji. if you'll excuse me. <laughs> you gotta go back to an empty stage. Oh my god, that'd be so demoralizing. What's up, you? Thinking of the next question. Well, then why'd you go off then if you're okay, whatever? One thing I like about about eyebally is that after you get one to an adult, you get like a thousand eyes or eyeballs, I think they're called. And you can go ahead and get Tama and um, Toma new outfits. And I happen to have acquired my first one. But it's another special, just Mizuki and um, Mizuki and Ryuki's. Uh, Miyuki? <laughs> Ryuki's and Mizuki's current costumes. So it's nothing really special, really, to be honest with you guys. Why does he get a limo? Are you keeping from a rich this. family or something like that? Yeah. I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Or if you just have that then much money. Why don't you just do it in this limousine? Oh, right. I guess I could. What the hell? Oh, look. A little time girl decided to come out and say hi to us. Oh, would you look at that. Lady. <laughs> Recite the sutras. Roar like a vicious beast. <laughs> Scream like a... I want to recite the sutra. That just sounds like fun. Essence of the sutra of great wisdom, which permits us to go further. The bodhisattva of the true freedom through the deep practice of the great wisdom. O oh, Sariputra, phenomena are no different to emptiness. Emptiness is no different to I regret to my phenomena. decision. I should just make me yell phenomena like a little girl. return to emptiness. Emptiness becomes phenomena. Lame. This incomparable mantra tells us oh. on, on, together, further than beyond, to the shore of Satori. I'm surprised, um... Shut up! Stop shouting! <laughs> but you surprised me. I thought that the ghost of an S&M pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? 
I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. Very interesting. Can we have some of that, please? I'm feeling a little perched. There you go, Tama. Not the reason Jim's right half body suddenly disappeared. What do you think of the car? Honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Thank Making you. Puke just looking at it. Thank you. Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. Then you'd be a goner too. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Is she really? Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. And now I'm using the car. This car is all I have of my here. parents. Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he also. Huh, interesting. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said? What for some reason, say? just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Parallel dimensions. Ooh. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. The other half could have been absorbed in some other dimension. And that split the body in two. Don't tell me you believe that. No, just... It's a plausible for some theory. Reason, it's stuck in my head. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. Makes the sense. teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say and if the code we find reveals a specific it, location. And if we find it, our Everyone who visits that place out. is said to have gone missing. They all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. And it was good. Hey, Tama. Is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? No. I looked it up. Here it is. Mm, guess it is. Yep. This is just about as creepy as the first one did. How the hell do you even figure out what the code is in this stupid thing? We need to get map pad on no, we can't get map pad on this because if he rip me, burn me. I'm guessing that's part of the code right there. This stupid thing. It's got a nice soundtrack, though. I guess. Hmm. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. Me neither. They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. I bet you have Matt Pat were on. He'd know where it is. And they disappear and then that would all be bad. Anyway. Same as the QR video. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, Bats 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. Hmm. Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Oh, Mizuki? I'm connecting her. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from Boss. What is it? I remembered something about Bats 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. He decoded the hidden message in Bats 490. 
He did? His name is Shoma Enda. He might know something, so I would go find him. Anyway, see ya! Shoma? Isn't that... Andy's the mages. Oh, that's right. Interesting. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? No. The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. No. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Well, my Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? You. Got my headphones on, I can't hear you. Weird put. It's Ada Rooster. Ada Rooster. Ada Rooster. It's a character. What do you want? What food do I like? We're going with sweet. We're gonna go down here. Oh, it didn't work. Hmm. I'm still gonna use the down button regardless. It's an Ada Rooster doll. That's weird. The kitchen. Refrigerator. I wonder if Mama's gonna be in here. This wouldn't be the same without Mama. A picture of Ame no Uzume, a goddess from Japanese mythology. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. <laughs> you laugh more often than you breathe. Yeah. Interesting. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> this was supposed to be touching? It's okay to fall off the horse. It's a family all What is that on top? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? No. It's a CRT TV. But do you think you can pick up digital broadcasts? Probably not. It could, with a dedicated tuner. Or maybe it can. Let me guess. Kotatsu, toy robot. Interesting. An old fashioned dresser. A toolbox. It's a toolbox. Wow. But you didn't know that. Wait, I saw I saw some art. There we go, it's a trophy. It's yeah. old. Looks like a memento for the Quiz King. Yeah. Kameji did say that he was pretty good at that back in the old day. Ah, Shoma. What are you, what are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. I have my headphones on, I can't hear you. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki? She's actually the one who told me about you. I've got my headphones on, I can't hear you. Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda, is that right? I got my headphones on, I can't hear you! You know about the video called Bats490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location, am I right? I have my headphones on! Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. We're gonna sink into him, aren't we? Better force that. You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. Um, so what you mean is... He probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. I uh, thinking with him! There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. It's no use talking to him, I think. You'll have to find the key to his chastity belt first. Why don't you try going under the kotatsu? He'd probably run away. Does this bother okay. have anything to do with yes, it? Shoma, what is your answer? Go away. I got my headphones on. Hmm. Something 
Something that could lead to the Velocity. It looks like a robot. Ooh. I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. You make that all by uh, no robot, huh? Ooh, I think we got a key to his heart. Robotics. Hey, Shoma, would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Huh? How do you know about that? Oh, well, uh... I have superpowers. Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. From my dad? That's right. Okay, then. Just for a bit, okay? Oh my god, it's so cool! It's gonna revolutionize, revolutionize the industry. Robotics as we know it. You made that? Yeah. Good. I call it Robota. All by yourself? Uh-huh. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine-tuning it is really hard. Alright. This kid's still in elementary school. That is so freaking scary. Why is all this back again? Why does this stuff always come back? It's worse than the, than the purple guy in FNAF. He always comes back. But I don't want him to come back. I want him to stay gone. Because then that way, he can't go ahead and screw with people anymore. This is pretty cool though, not gonna lie. Compliment like crazy! Wow, wait! This is crazy! It's absolutely bonkers! How can you make such a complex robot like this? Are you an alien? Or from the future, maybe? Or some sort of god? And this form, refined yet playful, such an unconventional design. It's obvious your sense of style is immaculate. Oh, wonderful, so wonderful. I will never forget this day. Yeah, I thank the creator that I was able to meet a genius that will go down in history. <laughs> I think we got him. Did we get him? Got him. We got the key to his heart now. Looks like the lock has opened. Looks like it. Oh, yeah. But I meant it though, man. This shit's pretty cool for a kid his age. Put them on so I can concentrate better. But you're not listening to music, are you? I only turn on the noise canceling. One of the parts for Robota, the robot running around. I want to upgrade it. I'm trying to make it so it can carry my weight. Oh, nice. She's just a classmate. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Do you wish you could talk to her more? No, of course not. Even though she's cute? That Hugo? She's not cute at all. Your face is otherwise. The temperature cool. is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I can tell. Well, you don't need a thermograph to know that. Yeah. Andy's Komeji is my dad. I'm sorry. I don't really want to talk about him. Why not? Well, because He's an idiot? He's got a square head. Does it you got a circle head? Modular head? Now, I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. I solved it. Hmm? The bat's hmm? 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? I have to go soon, so I'll tell you the short version. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Horidori Lab, the Horidori Institute of Genetics. Oh. I wonder now. Is this how the half body case came to be? I heard about it last night on the news. Chicago. Truly unprecedented. Truly. A mysterious case. Indeed. It's your fault, isn't it, Chikara? I am Chikara Horidori, the director of this research institute. It's his fault. He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. So what? He loves his job. If I had a job like this, I'd, well, I'd quit, because one, I don't like... I'm not a science kind of guy, I'm more of a... GET BACK OVER HERE, LET ME TRY ON YOU! 
Ryuki, yeah. would you drink that fluid inside the test tube? Hell no. Absolutely not. Why not? You might develop superpowers. Yeah. But what if I turned into a giant green muscular freak? So what? That would be awesome. Yeah, I think it would be awesome too. Especially if it came with super strength and stuff like that. Oh boy. A medicine bottle. Why am I doing this again? Crying out loud, I had an opportunity not to go and do all this stuff, but for some reason... Excuse me, what is that statue? Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. Do you like it will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. Be like our Lord and Savior, Genghis Chrysler. Chrysler. Genghis Chrysler. Alright, what was the other thing that I just saw? Er... A flask. It's a flask. Wow, let me guess. You're a scientist. Wow, what's Almost this? Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. <laughs> I actually <laughs> like grotesque things. Yeah, you would. Yeah, I know. Of course you would. Why not? There's a monitor embedded in the pillar. That's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. That looks almost cool. Why do they have to have the chair there for? It's probably Socrates, right? Socrates! Ah, right, Chikara. About the QR video. Uh, it was mentioned on the news. But the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video. And I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Perhaps someone just made it up. Yeah, you say with that. Hmm. Jun's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Oh my. Don't tell me I'm a suspect. I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Good for you. Your dream came true. Yay, nice to die happy. Now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. Chikara got divorced six years ago. Uh, so can't As for children, lie. he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. But hates him. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. Ah. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. Basically. That's right. Hmm. That Jin, Fudue. I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. We have nothing in common. I don't know, that creepy smile says otherwise. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? No. Site-specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Thank God. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. Sounds awfully suspicious. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Ah, and you Last you year, silly. we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call PURGE. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, for example, severe congenital heart diseases, are now curable. But that's not all. This is In actually real technology that's PURGE, out there. Even immortality is achievable. Yeah, I doubt that very much. Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age a thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. Why would anyone what do you want think? this? Isn't that wonderful? Not really, personally. I 
I wish I could say that would be pretty cool. Don't you think something is off about Jikara? Yeah. I think that would be pretty cool, but at the same time, it's like, who the hell would want to live thousands of years in the state the world is currently in? Can you, it, like, politicians that you don't like will never die. People, I, no, no, I, I just, no, I just couldn't do it. Oh, God, that would just be so bad. Oh, my Lord. I don't even want to think about it. You think so? You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. Ouch. He is, isn't he? Mobile games can be fun. Most of the time, though, they take you to a page and try to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising fraud, of course. Huh. His temperature is abnormally high, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe he has the flu. Don't yeah, make no. me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Do you think he's upset about something? Yeah, he's upset Probably. over here. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Winks. And how are we gonna... Yeah, let's give it a shot. So, wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute here. This sounds like a cool feature. <laughs> So there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying... Chikara knows about Fax 490. He was lying to us earlier. He probably is Fax 490. Mr. Chikara, can you accompany me to the station? What? Why? I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline, of course. Very well. I'll go with you. And we're back into this. Boss. PewDiePie! Ooh. So how does all this eventually play into Mizuki story? Very intriguing. Could you go buy some soy sauce for me? No. I thought I just heard something. Ah, uh, you mean the cleaning lady. <laughs> oh, it's just the cleaning, cleaning lady. lady. Wait, Wait, what? What? <laughs> oh, crime imminently. Oh, there's a door. There's pewter pie. Bye. Oh my goodness. Path the malfunctioning of a business uh, syndicate. That's outside of my jurisdiction. So, I don't know too much about it, but I'm sure the person in charge is desperately trying to fix it as we speak. It should be fixed soon. <clears throat> hmm? Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. Yeah, but... I've been wondering about something. Did you get arrested? In November of last year, you were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? You leaked internal police information, not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. Mm -hmm. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. Wow. I am truly grateful to you, boss. She no truly is scary. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, wouldn't it it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it? I know about... Mm, a dozen. I'm counting on you. Abyss is kind of scary. Uh, you get used to Abyss it. isn't scary. Boss is scary. Which I guess that means since he's ahead of Abyss, that means Abyss is scary. 
I got Thomas' report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case. And she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video, which has a striking similarity. Can I do all this stuff now, too? Suspicious. He must be the culprit. He's not, probably I not, I think though. it's a bit early for that conclusion. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? But he if he's did. he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. How could a guy with a big brain possibly be any kind of, uh, any kind of, um, bad guy? Seriously. Who knows? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. He's on vacation. Yeah, so I can see that. I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. No, he's taking a load off, all right. <laughs> mm, I think I know exactly what she's talking about. Why was I born in this world? Shut up! I'm angry. I'm going to bear your childy. Oh, I'm childy. Oh, Mizuki. Ha! Got a different child this time. See what it grows into. Chikara. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Uh, uh, sure, that's okay. What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Oh, don't worry about that. The higher ups will take care of it for me. In any case, shall we get started? Ryuki, sure. you know what to do. No, I don't. Please, boss, tell me. Synchro. Yay. We get our first full Synchrotama. What could possibly go wrong with this? Ryuki, the time limit is six minutes. Yeah, yeah, I know. You say this every time we sync. Look at how big that guy's brain is! Good God, man! Ryuki, this isn't your first time sinking. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months. So, I'm sure you know without me telling you, but... Six minutes. I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. It's alright, I know. Okay then, let's begin. Beware the big brain. Hmm. What do we have here? What is this place? It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? Look the Batmobile over there. So bright as hey, ever. Did you see someone just now? Looks suspicious. Why don't we ask that person there about it? Who? You must have a lot of questions, like, what happened to your other half? Not really. Must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough too. You really want me to ask about that stuff? Yeah, do it. But hey, isn't benching kinda hard? Hey, why are you talking to a statue? You Damn it, idiot. Ryuki, stop wasting my time! We can only be in Somnium for six minutes. Oh. Damn it, damn it, damn it! This is getting out of hand. That's Chikara. Tama, follow him. Oh my. Oh, what a... side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. The very layout is presenting itself, mimicking my brain, will serve as inspiration for my master. What's going on here? I need to be careful. I can't get too close. Now, this. Bionic bodies, accidental biology. 
the Bionic Body Creation Program. Bio what? BBAB. The logical center of the left brain and the creative center of the right. By combining them, I can create a superhuman. Who mm. ah. would want that getting out? I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. No, oh, he ran off. Chikar in this dream world is just as bonkers as he is in real life. Yeah. Looks like he doesn't want anyone in this room. Yeah, you can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? They're an embodiment of a sync subject's caution. When you try to access information that the sync E is trying to hide, it overstimulates the synapse. That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine, which creates a conscious antibody within the somnium. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? <laughs> if I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Touch him and our available time insomnium drops like crazy. Got it. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? Well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move instant death power stance man? I'm sorry, Interesting. instant death power stance man? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. Anyway, let's check the device first. Looks like the power is out. Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's go. Somnium scan, activate! Woohoo! On the left, the secret Chikara is hiding. There is no doubt Chikara is hiding something. Open the door to expose what he is hiding. The lock on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? On a stone statue? This is Chikara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. Anyway, that door. Let's head past it to the stone statue. Use the blank, join the blank, and create a blank. Okay. So, we can't touch instant death, man. Do we have to do something to get past that door? Do we talk to these bodies and everything like that? This door is open. Is this even a door? It's so thin. That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Okay, come on, move, oh, whatever you say. It moves sideways. What's wrong with that? We're here. That's the stone statue without power. Let's get closer and check it. Use the machine in the center, join the two stone statues, and create a transcendental superhuman. Okay, so is that all we gotta do with them? Is this the switch for the statue? How do we turn this on? Hmm. Why don't you feel around that area? What area? Say Whatever you feels play right, dolls. <laughs> the robot arm control PC has been activated. I am a bit annoyed that that discusses that actually worked. Annoyed mostly. It should have been me. <clears throat> All right, activate right front of the temporal lobe statue. All right. It's on. You're amazing, Tama. It says not available. Stone statue activated. Wait, so is it on or off? 
Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. Right. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues. But let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? Do you really How have you to know? ask that? Let's go back to the device. <laughs> oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. <clears throat> Human, your powers, you can to if you wanted to. We can go through here. So, my guess, uh, we probably have to get through this guy to get to the next, uh, other, the other, <laughs> to get to the other place we need to to activate the other statue by following his nuts. Blah, blah, blah. Man, I could be wrong. B -A -B. Activating. In this experiment, you can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Okay. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Jakara did. What can we choose from? Left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and A. Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. We can combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seems like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. And you select that power on this? Oh, I remember seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yeah, it was too high so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll help you get up there. Worth a shot. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance. What do you choose, Ryuki? Mm. The heck is that, eh? Messiah Warrior. N.A. Please name. select right brain function. I'm going to go with astronaut. N.A. Right. Astronaut selected. Starting experiment. Just like I expected. It's an error. I guess an A isn't a job. I wonder what it's for. I don't know. Beginning it. The room was high. by combining. What do you choose? If we use the fisherman, let's try. I want to try the Messiah Warrior. I still think the astronaut would be a good thing. Alright. Combined, a Maasai Warrior's leg strength and the atmosphere-piercing power of an astronaut to gain superhuman leg strength. Okay. Tama, you okay? I have goosebumps. It said you gained superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. That might be it. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Ryuki, you have five minutes left. Yes. This door isn't locked. Okay, let's go. So, can we go up now? N.A. Not available. Does this stone statue have... I don't know. 
Ah, damn it, I went the wrong way. Shit. We can I can't go in there. Wait a minute. It's got two things. Wait a minute. Could I have, and I'm just an idiot? Got, oh, good freaking lord. All right, let's go. Okay, ready. Wow. The experiment worked. Oh, Chikara Horidori has done it again. Oh, genetic ecstasy. What are we even watching right now? The DNA oh, strands. Uh, by stimulating the DNA correlating to hind leg strength through imagination, it caused a slight transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. But we can do anything in the simulation world. There are no limits. What a wonderful world. I guess things worked out. So, every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky? You wanna join? Hell no. Well, we're not gonna be able to go deeper to the sound if we don't! So, ha! Ah! Activate right front temporal lobe a step. Ooh, I want you to drive. I guess we should play with this guy's balls. Oh, ooh, ooh, there's a steering wheel there. We're gonna need this, I'm guessing. A stone statue without power. Activate it. Mm. He was not turned on by that. This stone statue Oh, it was. A racer. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split-second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving, too. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. Using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Yeah, anyway, that let's head back to the central room. Super reaction by the person trapped by a blah six no seven cents. They who traverse experience four minutes that. now. Oh God! Oh Lord have mercy! This guy sucks. The door is open. I wonder if we can go to the central room. Let's go find out. Yeah, we're gonna find out. Out oh, anyway. Looks like we can open it from this side now. Yoohoo! Oh boy, I'm so excited. Well, oh my god, this is gonna be this is gonna be a weird one, guys. Out of all the somniums I've seen between the two games, this one is probably on my list as the weirdest. So we're gonna continue down this path in the next episode. So thank you all so much for watching. If you're enjoying this. Weird guy somnium in the game. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good one.